Father Alex Steinmiller. I'm a Passionist. Uh, we are now in our chapel here in Detroit. Uh, there are four Passionist missionaries that live here. We work out of the retreat center and in, in the metro part of Detroit. I particularly work with unchurched people, young adults. You know, I realize that I am one of maybe a couple thousand talking heads, uh, people who do this to proclaim the Word of God. And it's very easy to uh, write ourselves off as not very significant. But I really believe because of our baptism, which we celebrated last week, each person in their own way, in their own shape, in their own space and time, is a significant person in the eyes of God with a mission and with a destiny. The difficulty is it's, it's hard to get a grasp of mission, destiny, baptism, Jesus. So today I'd like to just focus a bit on the three people or four people that we see in the scripture this weekend. Uh, we have the prophet Isaiah. We have Sosthenes, a friend of Paul, who uh, got beaten up during a trial that Paul was engaged in. We've got Paul himself and Jesus. And all four of them uh, have something in common. They all are struck by the Holy Spirit in particular ways. And that striking of the Holy Spirit is not something foreign to you or me. And I say that because we are built, that's right, we are built as human beings, men and women, young people, elderly, to be receptors of the Holy Spirit. And uh, St. John, or John the Baptist himself, admitted when he first got to know his cousin well, they probably didn't spend much time together as young adults because John the Baptist was hanging out in the desert and Jesus was kind of hidden away in Nazareth. But when they got older, John the Baptist admitted he didn't know who Jesus really was at first. And it was the Holy Spirit that informed him that this is the Son of God. This is the Lamb of God. This reminds me of two realities that we engage in. It's called space and time. They are most valuable. Do not underestimate space and time in your life. Because it's in space, it's in time, that the Spirit talks to us. Do not underestimate your daydreaming. Do not underestimate your imagination. Do not estimate, underestimate your ideas, your prayer. It's all significant in space and time. The same space, the same time that Jesus, Paul, Sosthenes, and Isaiah experienced. So let's pray that the reality of God coming alive in this world comes alive through you and me. Thank you. Amen.